Hey y'all, it's Whitney Nicely, and I went to the Chattanooga Ria tonight. I went as a guest, had a great time, um, learned about marketing, met some really cool people, and now I'm back home. Um, but before I left the Ria meeting, I was in my car, checking my email, checking Facebook, doing all that fun stuff that you do before you start driving, and I read that there was something going on with Syria. Um... And still not really sure on the whole situation there, but I do know that I watched a movie a couple weeks ago, and I can't think of the movie's name, um, and if somebody knows which movie I was watching, put it in here. Uh, it was the one about the guy that saw the um, 07 crash coming before it crashed, um, and then the other guys that read his reports, and they all jumped on, and they made millions of trillions of billions of dollars because he could see that this hot bubble seller's market was about to crash. Um, what was the big short? Okay. So what happened was all these guys are sitting around figuring on when the crash was going to happen, when is the crash going to happen, when is the crash going to happen. And one of the guys, I don't remember which character it was because there was a lot of guys, but one of them said that it was going to be the beginning of Q2. The beginning of the second quarter was going to be when we first started to see the signs of the crash happening. If you've not seen the movie, watch the movie. Look for that line. Okay? So, I'm thinking about this on the way home, and I've been saying this for a couple weeks, probably a couple months, and if you've noticed, I only bought two houses in 16. There was a reason I only bought two two houses in 16 instead of going on a shopping spree and the reason was one I couldn't find any deals two my heart wasn't in it and three I've been waiting on this day to come because this is the day that the hot sellers market started to get just a little bit chilly this was the first frost this was the uh, chill that comes through, the whipperwell winter that comes through that's going to kill your hot seller's market. This is the first step. This is the first week of Q2. Some genius out there is already saying that this is probably the next one that we're getting started. And I know it comes in waves. And I know there's roller coasters. And I know all that stuff. Y'all realize that this is 10 years to the day, like 10 years to the week of the 07 crash. You, know, you realize that, right? And you realize that when we start launching missiles and we start doing crazy stuff, that the real estate market starts to chill. Because when we start talking about doing all this stuff, people, Americans, the majority of Americans, decide not to make any major purchases. They decide not to make any kind of lifestyle changes. They hunker down, they duck and cover, like we were taught in school, and they wait until the coast is clear again to come back out. All right, if you took a melatonin and went to bed early tonight, you're gonna wake up in a totally different market. If you were one of those sellers that you had multiple bids coming in on overpriced houses, you might wish you would have accepted one of them yesterday. And it may not happen tomorrow. It may not happen this week. It may wait until June or July before the full flood starts to come through. But I want y'all to know that I'm going on a shopping spree. All right, and I understand that you're supposed to buy low and sell high, and I am all for a bull market. I'm all for it. Makes my stocks go up. I love it. But when my stocks are up, when my house prices are high, when everything's good and we're all singing kumbaya and it's lollipops and rainbows, I'm also prepping. I'm also ready and waiting for it to slip and to be a bear market. Because when it's a bear market and all the other investors are running away, I'm going to be running in. 
I'm going to be running in and out of sellers' kitchens. I'm going to be running in and out of the attorney's office. I'm going to have so many closings. It's going to be ridiculous. And while y'all are sitting over there talking about what happened to our hot sellers' market, I'm going to be making a million bucks. Because I know how to buy houses in good markets. But I love buying houses in bad markets. So while y'all are out there getting your real estate license, please tell me the number of real estate agents who went through foreclosure in the last recession. Please tell me the number of people with a real estate license who were driving rented Mercedes and paying big house notes who had to go get a job at Target the last time this happened because they didn't have a freaking idea how to work in a bad economy. Wholesalers, y'all better pay attention too because you live and die by the private money lenders and when the crap starts to hit the fan, those private money lenders are going to shrivel up like prunes. All this money that people are out here loaning right now, it's going to disappear fast. And if your whole business is built upon other people's money, you're going to be screwed. If your whole business is on representing other people like a regular real estate agent, please call the agents that survived the last crash and ask them, what that was like and what that felt like because they all survived it they got second and fourth and fifth jobs they didn't take as many vacations which also meant they weren't buying any houses the investors I learned how to invest from they bought tons of houses and I'm ready to buy my share and in a couple months, when I'm so busy buying all these houses that I can't coach anymore, you're all going to be screwed. Okay? Because I'm looking out at a lot of other coaches, and I don't know how anybody signs up for that program. Sometimes I don't know how I survived going through those boot camps and those programs because it's boring. <laughs> and one thing I am not is boring. And I also care about my students. I got in my private group and gave them a pep talk before I even came over here. All right? Because they are the ones that are going to be poised in every market across the country to buy these houses while the rest of y'all sit in the corner and duck your head and cry. So, my team... My warriors, we're about to go on a shopping spree. I'm up late tonight. I'm excited about it. Okay? Because these sellers that have been holding on and waiting and praying on a perfect opportunity, they're going to be giving me deals left and right because they're just going to want to wash their hands of it. And some of y'all are going to be my sellers. Some of y'all are going to inherit some houses in the next couple of months. Some of y'all are going to go through a bad situation and you're going to need me or one of my students to bail you out. And we're going to be ready. And we're going to make our million bucks. So, you can get in or you can get out. I don't really care. Because this summer, this spring and this summer, with what happened today, this is going to open the market for me to make a million bucks. This is going to set my kids up to do whatever they want for the rest of their life. What you do this spring and this summer is going to set your family up for generations of poverty or generations of wealth. What happened today is going to kill your hot seller's market. And it's going to bring me and my people and my friends, we're going to rise up. So you can get on the team or you cannot. I'm about to go shopping. 
If you have any questions, if you want to know more, you let me know. I'm getting off here because I got to go shopping.